Good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at the end of chapter 22 of today, verses 66 to 71. And we follow right along here. As soon as it was day, the elders of the people, both chief priests and scribes, came together and led him into their council, saying, If you are the Christ, tell us. But he said to them, If I tell you, you will by no means believe, and if I also ask you, you will by no means answer me or let me go. Hereafter the Son of Man will sit on the right hand of the power of God. Then they all said, Are you then the Son of God? So he said to them, You rightly say that I am. And they said, What further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own mouth. All right, so this is the, uh, this is the charge. He's claimed to be God. They ask him, you know, are you, are you then the Son of God? And his answer is yes. It's as you say I am, which is another way of saying yes. So now they have secured the evidence they wanted. They've got it from his own lips. What more can they say? Now we're going to crucify him. He claims to be the Son of God. Well, is Jesus the Christ? Is Jesus the Son of God? Is he I am? Is he a king? Is he the creator in the universe? Well, yes, we know he is because he's shown it. He's shown it by his actions for the three and a half years up until this time. So this verbal thing is kind of a legal thing they're trying to do to get on him, you know, getting words they can claim against him. But they are determined to suppress him, to press him down, and now they think they have what they need. Now they're going to satisfy, you see, their own justice. But they're not going to satisfy God's justice. Because many times something is, is legal, or there's a rule, or uh, and if something is made legal that's, that's immoral, that's wrong. And so it uh, doesn't really, whatever the human rule is, you know, fine. But we're interested in God's rules, and so God's rules... Or, you know, you don't, you don't suppress truth. That's God's rules. You know, it's a futile thing to be resisting the truth, because although they're going to kill Jesus, they're going to be more afraid when this is over than ever before. He will be more influential than ever before. And in fact, he's going to go to heaven. He's going to pour out his Holy Spirit upon his church and bless in the most extraordinary way. And so uh, it will be impossible. You cannot suppress truth. All suppression of truth is temporary. So now they have the words. Now they're going to go ahead and uh, end it. And they think they've got him, but they don't have him at all because you can't suppress truth. So when you and I feel suppressed and, and silenced and canceled and, and nobody's listening, well, don't worry about that. You and I live the truth, speak the truth, and the Lord will see to it, you know, that in the end it all works out along the way. Yes, some will be killed, some will be murdered, suppressed, canceled, Im imprisoned. That kind of goes with the territory. So now we see it happen to Jesus himself. And he's going to go up on the cross. So we're going to move over into chapter 23 tomorrow morning. Let's now pray. Father in heaven, they have now taken what they need, and they're going to take Jesus, and uh, they're going to see to it that he's crucified. No surprise there. Lord, help us to be faithful under all duress, under all pressure, and be true no matter what. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may, may you speak for Jesus to someone today.